let's talk about how to access your Teams files while you're offline. So within the Teams application, you can't access the files while you're offline, but there is a way. So don't worry, we'll get into that. So what we're going to do is the first step is to sync the location in Teams. Now be very careful of this step and you may want to check with your IT personnel to make sure this is okay because once you turn this on, turning it off may or may not be that easy. So we only want to turn it on where we feel it's absolutely necessary. So we're going to sync the location in Teams and then we're going to go to that location within our File Explorer application on our computer and from there we're going to say that we want those files to be available to us offline. Okay, so there's actually two steps that we need to do here. So let's start with syncing the area. So right now I'm in my mission training team and I'm in a files, the files area of uh, online courses and I want to choose sync uh, in this area here. When we sync this particular location, what's going to happen is all these files will now be available to, for us to look at within Windows Explorer. It doesn't mean they're available to us offline. There is another step to do that and you may not want to do that step with all the files you're syncing. So let's start here. So I'm going to choose sync and it's giving me a little message saying it's doing it. I'm just going to close this box and I'm going to kind of put my screen side by side so you can see uh, what's happening here. All right, so I want you to see where it says Mission Computers, this is referring to SharePoint, which means it's also referring to any Teams sites that you have because where the files are kept within Teams are actually within SharePoint. So you want to look for that little icon that looks like a little building and then probably has your organization name beside it. And right now I'm in the folder that says Mission Training Online Courses. So you see I have some other folders within my Teams environment that I am synchronizing to my File Explorer. But we're on this one and you can see by looking at the folders here, I've got three folders and a number of uh, files. And if I scroll up a little bit here, you see that's the same folders and the same files. So it is syncing right now, which is great. Now, what you see here in this column that says status is referring to how it's syncing. So right now it's syncing, um, so it's keeping these files really in the cloud. So I have to have an internet connection to view these files in Teams and right now within my File Explorer. So if I wanna have them offline, and maybe there's only one file I wanna view offline, or maybe there's only one folder I wanna have offline, then I need to change the status to say available offline. So let's do that with the Teams roadmap here. So what I'm gonna do is just right click on that file name, and once I right click on there, I wanna choose always keep on this device. So that means it'll be available to me offline and the icon's gonna change it in a second here. So when you see an icon that has a check mark and it's green circle, that means it's available offline. So the icons that have clouds mean it's only, those files will only be available when you're online. So what happens when you're offline is that if you change this file while you're offline, then as soon as you have internet connection again, it'll send all those updates to the cloud. So it will synchronize it again. Okay, so those were your steps. Make sure you synchronize, turn sync on within Teams. And then once you have the files in here, choose which ones you want to have available offline by right clicking and saying that. Okay, have fun. Bye-bye.